I am the gee man. I am the raven that takes flight by night. And I'm bipolar, and I'm on my bipolar journeys. Can you dig that? Listen, man, this life is tough. You know what I'm saying? If you want to survive, you need some survival tactics. You know what I'm saying? One, if you're having a hard time, take more antipsychotics. Have a problem, take a pill. Better than to take a pill than to be hospitalized. To be a menace to society, a menace to your family, a menace to your doctor. Anyway, I always had this thing with my bipolar one rapid cycling. If I'm having problems, be it depressive by nature or, psych or manic, add antipsychotics because all my symptoms up or down are psychotic in nature. It's my thoughts my negative thoughts, my fears, my, my everything in my head that's negative is psychotic by nature. It's not real. It's a breach from reality. I was just thinking that. I was thinking, everything that I think I cannot do is a figment of my imagination. Everything I think I cannot do is not real. But me believing it so makes it real for me. It makes it effective for me. I say I can't work. You know why? Well, that's why I can't work. Because I say I can't. If I don't believe it, I can't make it happen. Anyway. I want to thank my doctors, man. I want to thank my doctors. And I'm... I'm I'm a piss poor patient. That's what I think, man. I'm a piss poor patient, man. Cause seriously, man, uh, my doctors have been fucking awesome, both of them, all of them. My family's been above and beyond awesome. I don't even know what the heck. Why is so everybody so nice to me? Why is everybody so nice to me? pretty amazing, eh? I haven't been in the, in the psych unit on the psych floor since 1998. Can you imagine that? And I've been so whacked out. I've never been as whacked out in, in Alaska since 1998. Before that, I was more stable, but I'd go in the hospital every year practically and different things. Now I'm so whacked out, but just hiding in my room in society, making sure I don't get caught or do something stupid in, in public. Somebody piss me off or do something. And avoid run-ins with the cops. See the cops one way, go the other way. See a trigger over there, over yonder, turn around, go down the other street. It's been a constant trying to stay away from trouble. Can you dig that? No big time criminal or anything like that. It's just... Uh, survival man people think oh how, how you doing uh are you prospering no i'm i'm good to do if i stay alive if i if i live uh i'm amazed you know what that there was a big miracle in my life happened about a year ago i quit smoking but you know what the biggest miracle is that i haven't started again because let me tell you i know people come close to breakdowns like I've had lately and uh, they've definitely started smoking again. People with more willpower than I have. But even in my ma my worst psychosis I always maintain some level of uh, of my brain that says that'd be stupidest thing you've ever done in your life to start again. For me a friend of mine just started again and her health is poor because she's coughing infections. Like, holy shit, man, I couldn't breathe before, man. I couldn't breathe. Now I could, I'd like to do another asthma test just to see the comparison in, in a year and a half of quitting smoking. 
I know I see it on the dance floor. I, I couldn't dance through one song, and now I can dance the night away all night long. You know what I mean? Three, four songs, no problem. But before it was like, it's crazy, man. It's crazy. What am I going to call this video today? Uh, Raven's Bipolar Journeys Resolution So on that note I will say peace from Raven Karaoke addict Singer Guitar player Bipolar Can you dig that? Keep it real And if you can't keep it real be a good actor of whatever you're faking. Aye. Just kidding about that last thing. Peace out.